sent it to me and they were just like, oh, hey, sorry. We have a shipping delay. It'll it'll come soon. How it was long? a free water bottle. Uh, in August, I ordered it. Yikes. So, yeah, it's like a complimentary thing. You put in like your student code and you get a free Brita bottle. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I'll take one. I'm in college. I could use a, a filtered water bottle. Just like a regular old water bottle? Like yeah, a- just a Brita water bottle. Mm. And I was like, I'll take a free water bottle. I need that. Yeah. And I forgot about it. And then they were just like, today they were like, hey, Chloe, sorry about the delay. It'll come soon. I was like, all right, thanks. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Alex. Someone needs to stop ruining audition. <laughs> <laughs> what? I opened audition and all the windows are just wacky. But we're good now. Hello. This is Alex. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Alex, how's your day? Uh, my day? My day was pretty good. I spent That's the good. entire day pretty much at the radio station from 11 to now. Um, nice. A whole that's, day. That's good. That yes. sounds pretty solid. My my class this morning was boring, but I got through it. Good. Um, we had to cancel filming today, so I had no filming I had to do. I just got a bunch of work done, and it was great. It was nice. awesome. That sounds pretty solid. Oh, in one of my classes, I wanted to mention this. I'm working on a, a project about video games. So I'm making, like, a, a, a slides presentation. It's all, like, Google Google, Google Slides presentation that's video game themed, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited about that, and we'll probably talk about that project in an upcoming week. Sure. So that would be cool. But I, today, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, you go ahead. I was just talking, so I have this uh, project that I did in a class with another uh, kid, and he we were working on this right before this, and mm-hmm. he had a class at 5.30. Well, apparently, it is a video games class huh? in the Shoals building where they have, like, the gaming lounge. What? That's cool. What is it? What, is it development or something? Apparently, it's a phys ed class, too. Oh, esports. Mm-hmm. Esports. If you ever need a phys ed credit, that's the way to go. It is esports. Interesting. That's cool. They he gets like five extra bonus points if his team wins like a tournament. Huh. Oh, I heard that the team thing here. So, okay, so a little bit of background. Studio Fernonia has a gaming lounge. It's located in one of the residence halls. It's like kind of in like this like lounge area. Like one building has like at least the building I live in has like a craft room. But in place of that room in the other residential building is like a gaming room and it's set up with a bunch of PCs. There's a Switch and Xbox. I don't know if there's a PlayStation there. I went there once. I don't really go there. But the competitive gaming I heard is like very intense there. And it's for true gamers. Well, it's for true I gamers. Mean, it's for true gamers, if Chloe. I had a five extra bonus points in place. You can catch me sweating. Oh yeah, of <laughs> course. Absolutely. But because I want bonus points and I don't want anyone else in the class getting bonus points. Uh-huh. Gotta be top of the class. Exactly. That's how it goes. Competition. That sounds really fun though. There's actually another class being offered. That's writing for RPGs, but I have a class that runs at the same time as it, or else I was going to take it, because that sounds pretty cool, and it's an English class. Is it like a script writing thing? It's like writing for, like, like the D&D books and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of like script writing, kind of like creative writing. That'd be pretty cool. It would be cool. I'm going to look at it again, because I kind of want to take it, but I don't want to add any more classes on my plate, because I'm already at 19 credits. That's uh, it's like an, you said that was an ENG class, English? ENGL. Maybe, uh, potentially. I'm not sure for sure. I'm not for sure. I know there's another one that's uh, in the uh, comm department. It's like, I think it's just video games. Over J term. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. I don't know what it's about because I haven't had time to look into it, but. Yeah, I might look, I might look at them. I don't know if I want to take a J term class because I think I need a break, but I I'm might do, either. I might do a summer class. That also depends. If I do an internship, I don't want to also do a summer class because that's way too expensive. I feel like also so, taking, like, a uh, video games class over, like, I feel like it would be pretty fun. However, I feel like doing it over, like, a J-term. J-term's not that wouldn't long. Wouldn't be that worth it. Right, because it runs over Christmas time. Like, you'd have homework to do, like, that Christmas. Christmas is on a Sunday this yeah. year. So I meant more because, like, you have to pay extra for doing the J-term stuff. You have to yeah, pay you pay. It stuff. doesn't necessarily get covered under financial aid. Yeah. So, like, that, th- I don't know, that problem there, you know? Right. It's just like you're paying to have a class about video games, which would be very cool to do. Game. But I feel like it would be much better in like the fall or during spring. like semesters. Yeah, having exactly. as like an extra class to just kind of relax and right for sure. So yeah, we got a fun topic today. Let's get back onto topic. Do we that we haven't done yet? Yeah. Hey man, at least we were talking about games this time. That's true. We were talking about <laughs> games. That's because Alex wasn't here. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Got him. Anyways. I wasn't here because no, of you. No, no, you yeah. weren't. Anyways, yeah, today fun. we're going to talk about 
<laughs> exposed. <laughs> a topic that Alex actually picked out the other day. Did I? Yeah, you said it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about games that came out this year. And we also might talk about the Game Awards. And by talk about, I mean complain about. <laughs> and I also wanted to talk about something else that I'd like, read in the news lately. Is it not on our little... It is on the dock. It is on the dock? Yeah. Oh, this oh, this thingy right here. Um, ah. Oh, Xbox. <laughs> about <laughs> Xbox. Yeah. So we could we could we could start with that, uh, actually, because that'll lead into the rest of my stuff. So, do you guys know what backwards compatibility is? Should I explain that? Yeah. Explain so, it for the audience. Okay. So basically, you can play. Oh, I wrote a little eg on there. I think I told myself to explain it. So basically, you could play Xbox 360 games on the one, and like on the Series X and stuff. You could play games meant for other consoles on different consoles. So it's like compatible with different things. Specifically, uh, the original Xbox and Xbox 360 games. Yes. Uh, because all you can Xbox... play them on the Series X, can't you? Yes. Yeah, uh, that's what I was. Because you to can say. play all Xbox One games on the Series X. Yes. So the backwards compatibility program only really affects 360 and original Xbox games. Yes. Yes. You could also play like Wii games on the Wii U. Yes. Yeah, that's another example of it. But I'm pretty sure Although, PlayStation 5 didn't offer that, which is kind of like, mm, kind of well, why Xbox is better. I think they did it for PlayStation 4. Yeah, but not 5 is the issue. No, I mean, like, I think, I could be wrong, but I think you might be able to play PlayStation 4 on PlayStation 5. You just cannot do, like, PlayStation You can't 3. do anything below 4, I think, is what yeah. it is. But I'm not 100% on the PlayStation stuff because I don't care about PlayStation, even though I have one. Right. But, yeah, no, they do that with a lot of different consoles. Yeah. I think Switch does something. I don't think Switch has any. Switch has, no, because you can play, it depends on the game. Some games you can play with a Switch is what I'm trying, what is that called? It's not backwards compatibility because it's not across the same console, but like a person on PC and a person on Switch can play. Cross-platform. Cross-platform, that's what it was. Can play games together, which is kind of cool. But uh, not related. Telegram. Do you have a Telegram? Alex? Yeah. Do you have a Telegram? No. Was that just the practice? Did you hear that? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I turned it on Q. It's in the play. You do not know how to use Q. No, I, I don't. I don't <laughs> think the audience heard that. I don't know. I heard it in the headphones. How loud whatever. was it? It was quiet. It wasn't loud. It was. It wasn't bad. We okay. we talked over it anyway. I, if I didn't say something, no one would have known. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I did last time. I turned like the button on. Like I turned like it was ah, red. This time I just pressed like the Q button, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. And it showed up on like my right mind. Maybe because it was so loud in my headphones, you heard it. <laughs> Oh, I maybe. It, I don't know. It was very... Let, it didn't sound maybe. like that, let, but I have no idea. Let's try this again. Wait. Oh, maybe because it was also on monitor. Uh, attempt number two of figuring out how the Q button works. No, yeah. yeah, we definitely hear it. Yeah, we hear it. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Ah! Uh, it's okay. It. Oh! Oh! Telegram, telegram, play, telegram, play, 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 play it. Telegram? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I got telegram from my mom. And my Sorry. mom. <laughs> oh my god, double, double, you got plays on again. Telegram. Oh wait, maybe because it was on. Wait, I don't know how this works. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna read my telegram now. Yes, Alex, we heard a telegram. Oh, uh, uh, Alex. I need to talk to Johnny. I heard it. Heard it again. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to Johnny. Gotta yeah, Johnny would Q know. Works. Yeah. So anyways, what I was saying about this whole backwards compatibility thing for Xbox is that they're not able to continue this anymore, this backwards compatibility for, like, every new game that comes out. They're releasing 70 titles that were, like, Xbox had in the past, like, for backwards compatibility, but they're, like, not able to keep doing it. So it's, like, kind of inconvenient for, like, the people that play on, like, lower platforms. Mm -hmm. But, yes. I think... That's, like, the basics for what happened. I think all games should be backwards compatible. That'd so does nice. Xbox, but they can't, like, they don't have the, the technology yes. to do Phil it. Phil Spencer came say. out the other day, and he was like, you know, if licenses weren't a thing, yeah. they'd all be backwards compatible. I'm like, Right, Argh. they had issues getting, like, the licensing, and then it was just, like, too much, like, technological stuff that they couldn't, like, keep going with it. Yeah. But, yeah. 
But a lot of stuff's coming out on Game Pass, apparently. Some it good is. stuff. Yeah. I've got I've got a few games I'm gonna talk about that are on Game Pass. Oh really? That came That's out a good segue. Year. Do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna start us off? Which uh which one should I talk about? I have two that are specifically on Game Pass, if you see on the dock there. Which one which one are two? you more interested these two? in? Yes. Which two are I don't two? know this I don't know this one, but I know this one. So which one? Which uh one talk about the one I don't know. One. The Moon Glow Bay. Yes. So this is an interesting one. I haven't played it yet. But I've watched a bunch of videos on it, and I've done my. I, I've watched a bunch of reviews, and I'm actually going to be playing it tonight. I'm very excited about this tonight. Game. Tonight, when I have a free moment to play video games. I was going to say, don't you have another show tonight? Yes, but I'm going to have dinner at, after this show, and I'll probably play some of it during that, uh. and then I'll come home and then play some more. But um, essentially, what Moon Glow Bay is is they explain it as, this is from Polygon, a fishing minigame turned full story-based game. Oh, I've heard of this, yeah. Um, essentially, it's like, e we're listening to the Stardew Valley soundtrack right now. Mm -hmm. It's essentially what it seems like, Stardew Valley, but all about fishing. Mm. Yeah. The way that the story goes, apparently, is that like the people of Moonglow Bay... Uh, had always been, like, fishing and doing stuff like that. But then apparently, uh, like, a cataclysmic event happened. And everybody's scared of the ocean now. And, mm. like, it's ruined the economy, you know. The, the economy. economy. The economy. The economy. <laughs> uh, and, like, the town halls and disrepair and everything. And you are the main character, right? Mm -hmm. And your wife, Robin, had recently passed away. And Robin's dream was to always uh, pretty much make a small business. Mm -hmm. You know, fish, cook, sell your wares, etc. cetera. Uh, and you try and make that dream a reality in right. Robin's honor. And it looks like a really f cute little game. Mm -hmm. It's voxel-based. It's, it, I mean, not to bring it up again, but I feel like it's Stardew Valley, but fishing. Yeah, no, that's... That sounds like something that I would like to play. I like playing cute little games like that sometimes because sometimes you just you just being a college student, right? You don't have the time to sit through a whole a whole Final Fantasy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or something that's like big and involved. Like sometimes I like to play something that doesn't need like my all of my attention, like all the time. You know what I mean? Yes. So playing like little games like Stardew Valley or mm -hmm. like like Moon Glow Moon Glow Bay mm -hmm. sounds like sometimes it's kind of nice, you know. And I also I really like the like cute little graphics that they do for those kind of games. I'm going to look it up right now so I can get a picture. Want to know want to know what catches my attention all the time? What Chloe? catches your what? attention all the time? What is it? <laughs> I got to say, 88.9 WCVF, the campus and community voice of Fredonia, always has my attention. And what were you were listening to right now? You are listening to 88.9 WCVF. That's very nice. The campus and community voice of Fredonia. <laughs> it does catch my attention too. It's a very, it's a very good station. It's an Special place station. in my heart. It's beautiful. It's yeah. got just the facts on it, so it's got to be great. Exactly. Which you can listen to tomorrow. Shout tomorrow. Out. Shout out to just the facts. Noon <laughs> Friday, noon at Friday. Yes. Yeah. Now, anyways, noon I was gonna mention. <laughs> what were you, what were you guys were talking before uh, you did the station ID? Uh, oh, fishing. the uh, fishing. Um, <laughs> I agree with you, Chloe, up to an extent of like playing very relaxing games. Mm -hmm. With all the games that I've like fished in before. Are you I, a big fisher hunter? Is that what you're telling me? Get very tired of fishing in games. Really? Pretty quickly. Well, I, okay. So for me, it depends on the game because Minecraft and Stardew Valley have similar mechanics for fishing. Yep. That kind of stuff gets boring. The way Final Fantasy does it, it's like, it's very intense and it's like very intense guitar music and guitar solos that happen when you're about to catch the fish. That keeps me engaged to an extent. I can only do that for maybe like 20 minutes at a time. Yeah. But different kinds of fishing games can make it, like, less tedious for me. But I do agree to an extent. It's just, it's like fishing IRL. It's it's tedious, you know? Fishing IRL is nice. Fishing IRL is very nice. It's very nice, but it's, like, a long, drawn-out process that you have to commit to. You know what I mean? In, in gaming, like, for Stardew Valley, let's, mm -hmm. let's take that, for example. Their fishing mechanic is pretty unique, I'd say. Mm -hmm. In that you have to, you have, like, a, a little bar pops up. In which a JPEG of a fish goes up and down, and you have to try and you have like a separate bar inside of that they have to try and keep the fish inside of, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's your entire goal for to do that for like five or so seconds total. Mm -hmm. And if it's not in the bar, then it goes down. I, that's pretty unique to me. However, 
although that it makes like really good money early on in Stardew Valley, I feel like it just gets very dull mm. for me. That's interesting. It, for something like this, like a fishing game, <laughs> right. something like that, there's got to be a lot of side content. Yeah. Like there's yeah, either exactly. got to be like a lot of collectibles or like a lot of like villagers to meet and uncover their story. Like if right. it's just like fishing, like if it was just a game that's like Stardew Valley fishing minigame. Yeah. That, that'll that get boring very quickly. Oh, yeah. It's the stuff around the fishing minigame that's going to keep you entertained. And I think that's from what, from it what I can like. tell. Yeah. From what I can tell, Moonglow Bay does a good job at that. It apparently released not even a month ago, October 26th. So. Huh. Yeah. I, I haven't really, I think I've heard. I've definitely seen a couple of these, of these screen grabs before. I'm very but excited to play it. It's cute. I like it. It There's, looks it looks like fun. I want to play it. There is another game that I was excited to play until I started playing it. And then I had a lot of fun playing it. And it's actually my second game to blow through <laughs> to, yeah, no, no, we can... to get through the, to the next one. So we have yeah. a little bit of time. Forza Horizon 5. I've been talking about this game nonstop for the past week. Mm-hmm. I've been playing it in the station. I've been playing it at home. It's been fantastic. So Forza Horizon 5, I saw that. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 <laughs> is the, well, guess what? Guess what, Hunter? What? It's the fifth installment, really, of Forza Horizon. <laughs> I mean, all right, you, you make a joke about that, but with some things labeled today... <laughs> Fallout 76. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just came out November 5th. I knew it came out this year, but I didn't know when. Yes, it came out like two weeks ago. Um, Very cool. It is an arcade racer. You essentially have an open world, 500 cars to collect, and a bunch of different races. And you just go ham. And the game's beautiful. It's a lot of fun. There's like barn finds to find like really rare exotic vehicles. It's just, I mean, like if you like racing... It's fun racing. Like, it's just arcadey, like, jumping over hills and, like, drifting around the streets of Mexico. It, it's it, it's an incredible installment so far, and I've been loving it. It's been truly a blast so far. I'm not, like, really into racing games, per se. Like, I haven't really played a lot. I've played, do you know, Pole Position? Yes. That's it. That's, That's the extent. It? Well, I never out of all really, the racing games. I never really played racing games. I'm, I'm not a car guy, Alex. Never really. I never really play like racing type. I don't know. Pole positions it. That's a bit silly, goofy of you. Well, you I, need to play Final Fantasy 15, all right? <laughs> but no, sorry. I, I mean, my extent of racing games is like Need for Speed. Oh, so, Mario, Kart, like, Mar Mario Kart, Mario Kart. I was going to mention that. I forgot about Mario that Mario Kart is a racing game. It Grand is a racing game. Fair. So Need too. for Speed, Grand Theft Auto, and Mario Kart. Grand Theft Auto I've played that's, as well, but Grand Theft Auto is not, that's not like the main. I wouldn't call that a racing. R racing, not a racing is game. not the main intent, but I do a lot of racing in it. That is true. Because yeah. I find that the most fun. That is true. But, yeah. But no, yeah, I've been having a ton of fun with Forza Horizon. They have they have a season system, which, if you know me, I love seasons. Right. <laughs> it, Rocket League. It is. I'm just kidding, that's not It racing. is such like a <laughs> horrible mechanic half the time because it just keeps you involved. Mm. But, like, collecting all those little treasures. Like, I'm collecting all these cars. I'm like, ha-ha, a Mercedes AMG 1. Yeah. And ha-ha, a sombrero hat for my character. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter's laughing at me. I'm laughing at myself. Why? Why? Um, I'm a little dumb. Why? Why? You said there was a seasons mechanic, yeah. and I immediately just thought of, like, spring, summer, well, Fall. well, you know what? No, that's not as silly because the seasons in Forza are literally spring, oh my summer, God. See, we're fall, so right. winter. Okay. The okay. way it works is like there is a season, like a about a month long season, right? And each week is a different season temperature wise. Mm. So currently it's the oh. summer season, the rainy season, and then next it'll be fall, and then winter, and then spring. Nice. So you know what, That's Hunter? Fun. He was I am, right. I'm big brain. You Hunter's just you knew brain. that, right? You yeah. just knew that. I, I have a I'm big Brian. Good. Hunter's just built different are in the mind. Are you built different? I'm built different. Hunter, would you personally say that you are built I'm, different? I'm built different. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. 
but yeah, Forza. It sounds it sounds to me well what I've from what I've seen from Forza, it mm -hmm. looks really cool. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks it looks really like good, like mm -hmm. the graphics, and it just looks like a ton of fun. I'm also really surprised by the amount of accessibility is in that game because there's like everything from like like what's it called color correction color blindness mm -hmm. all the filter they've got like all the filters that's good they've got like narration for all subtitles wow um, they they've got yeah they they have a lot and they have compatibility with the xbox uh module controller right uh which is a whole other thing of itself which i absolutely love mm -hmm. uh that that's a thing but the amount of accessibility in a racing game like Forza Horizon Five just blows my mind. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, it's it's really something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely deserved a, a spot on the yes. game of the year. But that we'll was we'll all my it. stuff, so we'll I'll talk about it. Turn my mic off. Yeah, <laughs> turning your mic. He's done. He's done for the whole episode. He's just he's gone. Well, I don't got much either, so you can turn my mic off too. What? No, G guys. Hey. You should you should come back. All right, anyways, I'll continue the show. So what I really want to talk about, I've got a couple things on here that I really like. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> so let's let's talk about this now because we just talked about two games. We'll, 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 we'll sandwich it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So Animal Crossing did not come out this year. It came out in 2020. The new Animal Crossing. But I want to talk about the new update that just came out, which I haven't gotten a chance to play yet because I've been too busy. But... The major thing with that is that they actually went back to update the game, which a lot of people complain, and they're like, oh, Nintendo games get forgotten about, and sometimes they just never come back to Animal Crossing games. They never, like, update them, other than just, like, bug fixes. They never add anything new to the game. A lot of people were getting bored of Animal Crossing because there wasn't much... You just build your island, you know, you, you do this whole thing for your villagers and stuff, and that's, like, it. And a lot of people were like kind of getting bored because it, it was very big during quarantine like in 2020 when people everybody was locked down and people played the game so much that when we kind of like were some we were starting to come out of that people ran out of stuff to do in the game so the new update is a lot with like uh making your house and stuff like that more like decorations and stuff so that gives people a reason to go back onto the game which i think is pretty cool and i really am looking forward to playing that over break so and that's pretty cool it should be a lot of fun yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it because my house is kind of sad right now. I've got, I haven't got much. I haven't really played much of the game. I got my Switch <laughs> like last May or something like that, April. So I haven't played too much. I so. love Animal Crossing. I've played three of them. Right. I don't have a Switch, so I haven't been able to play this newest Animal Crossing. It's All very, right. very upsetting. Um, wish I had a Switch, but honestly, can't justify the purchase right now. Yeah. Um, That's why I, I got the light. It's because like, for me, sorry to interrupt you, but, like, I don't play too often, like, other than my Xbox, I wouldn't really be using the TV as much, more than just, like, laying in my bed, mm -hmm. or, like, sitting in the car playing Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. So it's just, like, couldn't justify <laughs> that much for yeah. something I wouldn't use as much, you yeah. know what I mean? That's fair, that's fair. But, sorry, continue. Um, I don't remember what I'm I was sorry, say. I interrupted <laughs> you. <laughs> Oops. Money. <laughs> yeah, true. It's expensive. Yeah. But, you know, Hunter, was there... Did you hear that little bang? Door. That definitely, like, came through on the mics. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Really? Yeah. Should I go investigate? Yeah, go investigate. It's probably the other people that have a show. I, it might be. Their show, they're late. What if it's Jackson to Carlo? Is it Jackson? <gasps> Watch him, like, burst through that door right I now. Would, I would scream. <laughs> I'm going to find out who it is. Okay. All right. Well, Alex does that. Hunter, is there anything you want to talk about? <laughs> I don't know any new games. Hunter is I am not deserving his host position because I he don't. doesn't know much. But he's here because you're my I can keep talk about games. It's just it's being just knowledge up about with, new okay. releases and stuff. Okay, let's see. What would you know about? I can give my own opinions on games. Do you know you know Little Nightmares, right? Sort of. We can talk about that one. I have Little Nightmares too. You have yes, exactly. That's that's what I was saying. In my Steam library. But I've have yet to you play played it. it. Yeah, exactly. I think you should play it. I think we should play it together. We should all play it. Sounds Everybody like should it. watch you play it. Well, I think that sounds like I actually did want to be a Twitch streamer at once one time. So, when was that? Uh, last year. Oh, so that was recent. Yeah. A Twitch streamer. I have done one stream on Twitch. Really? I I I used to stream a lot. It was a it was a test stream. 
Ah, uh, and you just never kept going with it? Yep. Gotcha. No, I, I used to stream a lot on Xbox I, because it had built in, Mixer was built in Xbox. That's a whole nother thing. Ah, uh, you streamed on Mixer. Well, that's because it was just there for Xbox. Yeah. You remember that, Alex? It was Alex? simple. It was easy. It was very simple and very easy. You just hit live. So I used to go live on Smite. I actually had people like watch me, which was kind of cool. And I just, they took Mixer off for reasons that we won't go into. And now it's not very easy to stream. It's too much work to go through another app. So it's just, I just kind of stopped. Mm -hmm. So, you know. It's not too hard. Who was in the station? No one. It was a, a ghost? ghost. <laughs> it's the ghost of That was FRS. weird. That was loud. Maybe it was above us. There's there's an event happening above us right now, so. What's happening above us? Do you uh, know? Some health thing. It was oh. like Fredonia Health Organization or something. It's a lot of people in like suits and dresses. Well, that's interesting. Yes. I think it, it must have been above us. I think it's the FBI. Oh, probably. <laughs> that makes sense. They're learning about <laughs> SUNY Fredonia. Yeah. They're like, something <laughs> isn't right here. Too much concrete. <laughs> too much concrete. Looks too... Looks too concrete. Suspicious. Suspicious. Concrete. Suspicious. <laughs> hey, concrete. Let's, um, let's kind of shift how we talk because I'm realizing what time it is. Mm -hmm. So let's go a little bit more towards the Game Awards. And then through that, we'll talk about the games that came out this year. So the Game Awards is exactly what it sounds like. It's it's like, you know, like an Oscar or an Emmy show. It's basically that, but for video games. And they have a whole bunch of categories for just like different different aspects of games. And the main thing that we're going to focus on is the Game of the Year nominations. So the Game Awards is a little, we still got a little bit. It's on December 9th of 2021. And let's, let's specifically talk about Game of the Year. So I have the nominations. Mm -hmm. I just realized how I spelled it. Two. Good job. I wasn't going <laughs> to mention it. <laughs> oh my god, I was doing this like earlier. Okay, anyways. So, the nominations for Game of the Year are Deathloop, It Takes Two, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts 2, Ratchet and Clank Drift Apart, and Resident Evil Village. Now, let me just like, Alex, what do you think about these nominations? I... Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. It's so bad. It's just not... Why is there nothing? A good... I list. I think that at least one or two of them could be up there. Right. But I definitely think Ratchet them... and Clank should should be up there. Yes. I like that being up there. And I just some It of takes these... two like some of these are they're good games, right? They're good yeah. games. Except for Deathloop, sorry. I just I just don't like Deathloop. I've just, I've seen enough. Anyways, It Takes Two I think is a very good game. It is, Psychonauts yeah. what I've seen looks really good. Resident Evil Village is good. However, are they all deserving of game of the year? No. I don't think so. So what I was kind of leading at with Alex is mm -hmm. games like Forza that are just like so well put together didn't make it onto the list. And just the games that are on here, I don't I don't know how I how I feel about this. I just feel like it's not a very inclusive list and there's not some interesting things on here to me. You know? Mm -hmm. Like I know Resident Evil Village did very well and it was a very good game. I haven't played it personally, but I've heard very good things about it. But like Deathloop, Deathloop is a first person shooter. And like it doesn't to me, it doesn't provide anything new. It just looks like Fortnite and Overwatch and COD even a little tiny bit. It do, it doesn't I think we have enough first person shooters. A different one does not need to win game of the year. Right? Right. You know what should win Game of the Year? What? WCVF 88.9 FM, The Voice, the campus and community voice of Fredonia, in which you are listening to right now. <laughs> I think we should win all the awards. Best station in the nation. That's us. We're yes. the best ever. And the best game of the year. Yes. And best game. Yep. Best game. Easy. Yeah, for sure. Well, yes. Anyways, <laughs> back, to, back to what I was saying. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know. I just think that Deathloop doesn't really deserve to be Game of the Year, and something's telling me it might win. I'm I getting a little nervous because Hunter and I were looking before. Hunter, do you want to say this because you, this is yeah. your research that you did? For some context, Deathloop is nominated for six different categories in this Game Awards out of maybe like 10, 10 or 11. I don't know how many categories there are. I can't remember. 10 or 11 that were showed to me, at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for one of them, it, it's nominated for two positions. On one single category for best performer, it's two people from the game Deathloop. 
I think that's dumb, and I think it's rigged, personally. I don't think one game, maybe three, okay? The issue here is that we didn't really see a lot of hit games early No, we this didn't. Year. Yes. A lot of, like, the bigger games that have come out, such as Far Cry right. and Forza. Mm-hmm. And Far Cry is a whole different bag. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> um, I was going to mention Far Cry. They all came out, like halfway through October or beyond. Right. So they're not eligible for this year's game. Yes, right. yes. Like, Forza, I have a feeling if they put Forza Horizon 5 on the Game Awards, it'll mm. it'll win awards next year. I don't know if it'll win Game of the Year. It's very hard I don't for know a if racing it would, game yes. to win Game of the Year. But just some of these games are just... <sighs> it's like who they cares? They don't deserve it. Yeah. Yes. And like that. Not that. And not that they're bad games. We're not dissing, no. except for Deathloop. <laughs> they're just like not, not game of the year games. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. The issue is that a lot of the games that came out this year were reboots of something. Yes. Like Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet, but Ratchet and Clank was like a whole new story. That's true. That's very. I'm true. I'm talking about stuff like Super Mario 3D World. Oh yeah. Hitman Three. Yep. Monster Hunter Rise, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Right. Those games were good. They mm-hmm. they received like a lot of support. The issue is is that they're reboots from like five years ago. Right. Yeah. That's why they're not being on Game of the Year. Out of all of these, right. out of all of these, which one do you think should get the win? Ratchet and Clank. You think Ratchet and Clank? I do. I think it. I think the game was really well done. Like I would be so interested in playing it. It just yeah. it looks it looks so good. Uh, I've not I've not seen anything negative about it. Whereas Deathloop was had so many negative reviews, like two months in like September, right? Mm-hmm. They had terrible reviews because it wasn't the game wasn't performing right. I'm sorry, but that is not. If the majority of people are complaining about the game, right? It should not win Game of the Year. Yeah, Hunter, my, what were you saying? My problem is that I don't think Ratchet and Clank will win. I know. I would like I it to know. because I'm a little biased, but Ratchet and Clank is the most fun out of literally any of these. I right. haven't played it like that game, but I've played different Ratchet and Clanks. I've watched a lot of it, so. But I feel like it won't win because like a smaller, niche, more niche game like that, I feel like it just won't have the amount of support. But then kind of like Psychonauts is like one of those like smaller, more niche games, right? Right. Because I don't know too much about the game. I know like... like it has a stuff. very cult following. Yes. The the people that like it love it. True. Mm-hmm. It's a very interesting That's what game. I've heard. Yeah. yeah. Out, but, of, out of all of these, for my choice, I mean, we're looking at some interesting ones. Some of these, like you said, just don't deserve to be on this list. Um, I'm going to... It might be a little bit controversial, but I'm going to vote It Takes Two. Oh, that was my second choice. I do, yeah. I think they're... I think I... I, I think they're maybe my second or third, yeah. I'm going to vote It Takes Two because... I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of indie games. Yeah, I love too. indie yeah. games. You know, mm-hmm. there's a ton on Game Pass that I just love to... Uh, try out. It Takes Two is on Game Pass. I haven't played it yet, mm-hmm. but I've seen plenty of videos on it. I feel like lately we've had a lot of games that are just lacking co-op. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the co-op games that we do get are very cartoon, arcade games such as Overcooked or Moving Out. Yes. Which are fun, but there's not really a story to it. You're just kind of yes. doing tasks. Yeah. yeah. And it takes two story. Uh, seems very interesting, especially for a how they label it an action adventure platforming game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I think and the art style is beautiful as well. Yes, I have seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if I were to vote in this year's Game Awards, which I might not do, I might boycott the Game Awards. <laughs> Angry. VGS is boycotting the game. VGS boycotts game awards. VGS boycotts Deathloop. Um, (laughs) I'm anti. I'd vote. It takes two. Definitely. That's pretty solid. I like how you backed that up. I remember. I want to say it was probably a year, year and a half ago. I think I remember when this game started first being talked about, or like a little sneak peek of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was so interested in it. I didn't know like much anything about it, 
but it like it just seemed like such an interesting concept. Wait a like, minute. I'm, I'm, I'm so, wait, continue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> continue. I mean, I was almost done. Okay. It's just like it seemed like such an interesting concept with how they like were marketing it with like the sneak peek and kind of thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, it captured my attention much bigger than the death loop. I have not seen anything good about death loop, so yes. Now, what's up, Alex? Forza okay. Horizon 5 is in the game awards this year. Yeah, it's in best audio design. Yeah, we talked about that before. <laughs> did you? I did yes. tell you. I don't think you were listening. Oh. Yes. I was looking at the nominees. But it deserves more than that. Yeah, it deserves... I don't That's know about game thing. of the year, but I mean, it Something deserves else. better than Just best audio? audio design. Are you kidding me? Right. We're right. anti-audio here at the radio station. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's a very dangerous thing to no, say. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that, was, that was supposed to be <laughs> extremely satirical. Oh, boy. I... Games for Impact. What is Games for Impact? None of the... Boyfriend Dungeon. <laughs> that sounds interesting. There's a game on the Game Awards. I was doing some research into it. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which one. Oh. Uh, El Elden Ring. Is that, Elden is that? Ring? I Elden don't Ring. think Elden Ring's out yet. No, it? it's... it's. Do you want to say it? So last year it won the award <laughs> for most anticipated game. Mm-hmm. And once again, is a nomination for most anticipated game this year as well. Really? It's pretty funny. What won last year? I wonder. I don't remember. For game of the year? No, most anticipated. It was Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Oh, it won? Yes. Can it win two years in a row? We'll see. <laughs> I like how for most anticipated game, it's Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Starfield, which I'm very excited about as a Bethesda fan. And then the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. They you're, don't even have a name for this game yet. You're a Bethesda fan? Yeah. Bethesda. Well, let me tell you what. What? Bethesda yeah. made Deathloop. You have to you have to drop all of your Bethesda loyalty, sorry. No. <laughs> I he supports Deathloop now. He wants game. I don't of support right, anyway. Deathloop. Let's, continue. Let's, Deathloop. Let's, continue. Let's continue the show. I don't support mute yourself. Deathloop. Get out. Anyways. I don't support Deathloop. He mute. I support you. Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> I will not claim Deathloop. Okay, that's fine. That's 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 better. That's You're allowed better. to speak again, Hunter. So if we bring it back to where the games released this year, right. this entire time I've been looking through an entire website that's been has like every single game that was released this year. Yeah. Well, first of all, it has Cookie Clicker on the PC. Okay. I think that's a great game that we should talk about. I don't know what that is. Cookie Clicker? What's Cookie Clicker? Is it an idol? Deathloop was only published by Bethesda. Uh, I didn't know it was developed it. by Arcane. So, oh, that's right. I actually my statement knew that. still stands. Anyways. Okay. You don't know what Cookie Clicker is. Is it an idol? Clicker? You don't know what Cookie Clicker is? No, I've never heard what of it. What type of gamer are you? Bro, Cookie Clicker <laughs> is like bottom of the barrel. What do you mean? <laughs> cookie Clicker like, is. Like, everyone knows what Cookie Clicker yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, I, I've like, seen this before. I, I've never played it. What? I've seen this I've before. I've seen this before. I've seen this. Ridiculous. I've seen this around. I never knew what it was. Ludicrous. It's a game where you click cookies. You still oh, sent oh, yeah. me a snap, and I'm afraid to uh, open it. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay. Tell me about Cookie Clicker. When you open it and deem if it's a tele... tele, tele oh, is it a telegram? Telegram. I don't know. It's not a telegram. It's just a Snapchat. Okay. Telegram has to be text message. Yeah. It's very important. Well, there's another game that came out this year. Yes. Super Monkey Ball Bananarama. Bana oh, Banana yeah. Mania. <laughs> Banana Mania, sorry. I want to okay. play that. It looks fun. <laughs> Super funny. Monkey Ball. I got heavily into it. I was watching the streamer that played it with his friends mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. quite consistently. And it, it's such a good game. It's like a, I want to say it was a Game, game? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't remember. Perhaps. But it was a very old game that sense. they've been like, they kind of, it was an arcade game first, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then they uh, shut down for a little bit. It just didn't like get any releases or anything until this year. <laughs> until this year. People have made like other maps and stuff Uh huh. to add to the game mm -hmm. that you can like mod and play. But overall, it's been, uh, you know. Pretty quiet from uh, Super Monkey Ball team. 
Hunter's taking this very seriously. I, I love how you told us that, Hunter. Thank you for sharing ba- that information with us. Banana. Banana. Monkey. I am, banana I am pro banana. So. Me too. It's we true, all are here. 12 a day. Mm-hmm. 12 a day. That's a, that's a reference. <laughs> Shout out to Just the Facts again. That, uh, that episode of Just the Facts is being sent out to IBS. Which is uh, not irritable <laughs> syndrome. Why would you say that? It is, in <laughs> fact, well, it's because it's it's got an unfortunate thing. It is international broadcasting. It is the... What is it again? International. No, not international. No, intercollegiate. Intercollegiate, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Intercollegiate. Broadcasting. Broadcast. I can't, why can't I remember what IBS stands for? I make fun of it all the time, and I can't remember. Should I go out into the lobby and find out what IBS stands for? Do you for? not know either? No. I just looked at it the other day. I did too. I That's always. That's how I know it. it wasn't international. It was intercollegiate broadcasting system. I don't think it's. System. We're doing a radio system. Submissions. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> Submissions. Oh, by the way, speaking of, uh, M wants to know if we want to put some stuff from VGS and submit it. She said, and but she wants, she wants. I'll wait for Alex. The intercollegiate broadcasting system. It is system. It, system. it is oh, system. Wow. wow. What, what, listen, what a listen, weird listen. S word to throw in there. Listen, for doing your radio systems. Anyway, listen. So M yes. actually Snapchat me earlier and she was like, hey, you should totally submit stuff for VGS. Yes. To the, to IBS. Yeah. And I was like, well, I, I don't know. What do you want from me? And they were like, <laughs> We want to use your stuff for best station in the nation. And I, I just, I don't know what to give them. I think we should quite frankly, clip out <laughs> the audio clip of Chloe just <laughs> whimpering on the mic. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and just put we have that to, we have to produce some good content. I hope we have stuff we can take from time. Did you record today? Yes. Thank I you. forgot to record like the first 30 seconds. But that's okay. That's, that's fine. fine. We'll take some clips. We can like clip everything to cl- clip our best moments together. That's what I was thinking. Maybe yeah. send it in. Yeah. Well, just like a couple of like I'm, things, at least for best station in the nation. I'm actually editing that reel. Are you? Yeah, I think. You can you can take my flash drive if you want. I'll steal your flash. drive. You can drive. yeah, you can just keep it. It's I fine. think I have one of your flash drives in my office. That's why I don't know where it is. <laughs> I swear to, I have been searching. Well, I for found that it. Flash. I found it. But you didn't tell me. Well, I didn't I know think, it was yours. Is it is it black Sandisk? Probably. Surprise. Thank you for turning into BGS. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, we actually do have to end the show. About. Do I know the funnier so. part? What? I just walked into the station the one day and he was uploading a bunch of pictures of himself to this like black sandist flash drive. What did you do to my flash drive? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Stop. <laughs> Hunter, I thought, I thought Hunter, that would be Hunter funny. you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> he said no. Mike muted. Oh well. oh, well. Time to turn him back on. There you go. Hunter, Welcome you know what will make you feel better? I think that you should listen to WCVF 88.9, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. I'll make you feel better. That would make me feel better. Wanna yeah. know what you're might... on it right now. Surprise. You've been pranked. Surprise. Want to know what might, might make you feel even better, though? Please tell me. This Thanksgiving, Thursday, the 25th, a 30-year tradition returns to 88.9 FM with a seasonal programming in the spirit of the holiday season. Join your host, Vincent Catroshi, Thanksgiving morning from 9 a.m. to noon for electric sounds of the season. Would you like to tell everyone who that is? Professor Katroshi <laughs> is one of the film professors here at SUNY Fredonia, and every year he does a little Thanksgiving show on Thanksgiving, uh, plays some music, you know, talks on air. Uh, he wasn't able to do it last year, sadly, because, you know, COVID and stuff. But right. he's back and better than ever, ready to rule the airwaves here on 88.9 WCVF, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. Sounds you all solid. should give it a nice listen. Yes, yeah, it I like, know it I'll like be listening fun. Thanksgiving morning. What time is it? Oh, the morning? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. I'm waking up early on Thanksgiving Day. Okay, I might actually listen to it's it. like I'm when you wake excited. up for like Christmas morning. Yeah. But instead of presents. That is the, a present. You get the presents of Kotroshi. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was, one. That was, that was clever. A that was clever. Let's, let's put it in the promo. Let's put it put in, in the promo. promo. Put it in the promo. <laughs> well, see, I'm going to have to say it again because Chloe interrupted me in the I'm middle of it. I'm sorry. Okay. 
what I Minecraft the death sound effect. Ooh. Minecraft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wee wee. Wee wee wee. <laughs> Go ahead, so Andrew. many references. Do you want to say it again now? No. Anyways, I was gonna <laughs> we're going to end the show now. Thank you guys for tuning in to VGS this week. We appreciate you. We don't have a show next week. I forgot to mention this. Because next week is Thanksgiving. We're yes. off the whole week. So we won't be here. Also, next Thursday is Thanksgiving. Yes. So have a happy Thanksgiving. Travel safe if you're traveling. There might be a big storm over here. And yeah, that's that's about it. So thank you guys. Thank you, Alex and Hunter, for coming on the show. And, and we'll see you... You guys can say something. That'd be cool. Thanks. All right, anyways. <laughs> They're so mean. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you, not next week, but the week after. See you the week after. The week after Thanksgiving. The day before radio. Very true. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Bye-bye. All right, bye.